Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Solinux Crypto. Hope you're all doing great, and welcome to this new video on Solana. Um, I wanted to, um, I mean, in, in general, I think the technical situation, there are some things we need to, to talk about regarding the technical situation for Solana. Um, I still think it's the same as we talked about yesterday, even though we've been relatively bearish. All right. So that's, like I said, we have to talk about that. Um, but in this video, what I also wanted to do, do is talk about some fundamentals. All right. Because we do need to talk about some things uh, regarding what's happening in, uh, in, in relation to the competition between Solana and Tron. All right. A different layer one blockchain, as hopefully most of you know. Um, so we'll talk about that as, as well, all right? We'll cover everything you need to know for, for Solana, mostly on the short term, but also more uh, long term, what to expect. Um, so yeah, that's what we'll do. I hope you're having a great weekend, of course. Um, it's, a, it's a perfect weekend to not think about crypto too much. Um, but, uh, but, but hopefully with this video, I can at least kind of update you on, on Solana for this weekend. And then you'll be able to, to enjoy, some, uh, enjoy touching some grass because um, the markets right now are very quiet. <laughs> So uh, Solana yesterday, uh, bearish momentum across the markets with Bitcoin falling down quite a bit as well. But Solana right now against Bitcoin is relatively weak. Um, and there's, uh, well, there's multiple reasons you can you can think of for that. It, it's just a lot of coins right now are weak against Bitcoin. So it's, it's not it's not weird. Um, but you can see that Solana since Wednesday has been very weak against Bitcoin. So what that means is that if Bitcoin falls down, Solana will fall down even more. That's what we saw yesterday. Solana dropped down below its main support level. The main support level for Solana, in my opinion, is right here between 135 and 140. Broke below that, instantly, instantly reclaimed that. All right. So for now, it was a, a fake out, which is good. <laughs> that means that, that the bearish breakout hasn't happened yet. Um, but we're testing that level again. And it's absolutely crucial that we do hold that level, because if we're unable to hold that level, as you can see historically as well, we will start to drop down towards 125. And fundamentally, one of the reasons and one of the things that, that's being talked about a lot with Solana right now is the fundamentals in that um, one of the key things that was really pushing up the metrics and the fundamentals for Solana was pump.fun. And what we're seeing right now is that um, if, if you look at the, the DEX trading volume, for example, it has to, it's still very high, right? So it's not bad. But it has dropped down like this is the last uh, period of, of three days. If we look at the last year, for example, has gone up <laughs> incredibly over the course of March and also the last couple of months. And now it, it has dropped down a little bit. And that's partially also uh, um, um, because of Tron, who have also launched their own kind of sun.pump or something, sun.fun. Uh, which is obviously taken away market share from Solana. But what that means is that the fees have dropped down tremendously, where first they had like $2.3 million in fees and uh, and like a uh, million dollars in revenue per day. Right now it has dropped down about like 60%. That's quite, I wouldn't say that's bad, but it's quite, uh, quite a lot, right? So fundamentally that makes Solana worth less. And that's why I do think, like at this point of time, the way I look at Solana is I, I still think technically we are in a consolidation. Right, so that we're consolidating between 135 and this level right here, what, what we have been doing since the 6th of August. Um, but I'm very scared of the bearish breakout. And like I said, like it's the weekend, so a breakout doesn't always stick in the weekends. But if we actually drop down below 135 here, and that's the main thing I'm afraid of, it almost looks most likely that that's going to happen. If we drop down below that and we actually hold that, that as resistance, then we are just bearish. And we'll drop down to the bottom right here at 125 and 120. And from there, we'll see again, that's a major support level on the daily time frame as well. I don't expect that to break. So don't worry too much. Um, but uh, but I would worry a little bit, right? Because if we don't, it, it's about 135. Like the main thing we're waiting for right now is either 135 to break, that's bearish confirmation, or for us to reclaim 142. Because Solana has to reclaim 142 in order for us to actually confirm the consolidation and therefore confirm that we can at least, you know, hold some sort of a level up here at, uh, at 145 and 150 um, as an average. So that's what we have to wait for at this point of time. I would say, um, I think it's most likely that we either fake out again or that we just hold 135 here and that we consolidate down here before moving up. I still think that's most likely, even though, like I said, I mean, I, I would not buy Solana here. Um, so am I 100% uh, certain about my case? No. 
And I will, like I said, in terms of trading, I will wait for the confirmation and the breakout. But those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know. Uh, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.